Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Pharmacy Curriculum. Today we are going to study about cholinergic receptors. What are cholinergic receptors or acetylcholine receptors? There are two types of acetylcholine receptors that bind acetylcholine and transmit its signal. First one is muscarinic acetylcholine receptors and second one is nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. Muscarin receptors are all G-protein linked receptors while nicotinic receptors are all ligand gated excitatory ion channels. Nicotinic receptors are blocked by curare while many muscarinic receptors are blocked by so called anticholinergics. Examples are atropine and scopolamine. Now let us see the difference between muscarinic receptors and nicotinic receptors. The muscarinic receptors are G-protein coupled cholinergic receptors that phosphorylate second messengers like inositol triphosphate and diacylglycerol while nicotinic receptors are a group of cholinergic receptors linked to ion channels in the cell membrane. The muscarinic receptors has five types. M1, M2, M3, M4 and M5 while the nicotinic receptors has two types that is N1 and N2. The muscarinic receptors like M1, M2 and M5 are excitatory receptors while M3 and M4 are inhibitory receptors. The nicotinic receptors are excitatory receptors. The muscarinic receptors found in brain, heart and smooth muscles while the nicotinic receptors like N1 receptors are located in neuromuscular junction and the N2 receptors are located in the brain, autonomic and parasympathetic system. The muscarinic receptors phosphorylate various second messengers and the nicotinic receptors become ion channels upon activation. The muscarinic receptors are G-protein coupled receptors while the nicotinic receptors are a type of ligand gated ion channels. The muscarinic receptors mediate a slow metabolic response via a second messenger cascade and the nicotinic receptors mediate fast synaptic transmission of nerve impulses. The muscarinic receptors respond to muscarin and the nicotinic res receptors respond to nicotine. Now let us study the different type of muscarinic receptors in detail. The first one is M1 receptors. The M1 receptors are located mainly in the CNS, gastric glands, salivary glands and the autonomic ganglia. The effects of M1 receptors are depolarization, histamine release and acid secretion, secretion of salivary gland, learning memory and motor function. The specific agonists of M1 res receptors are pilocarpine and oxotremorin. The post receptor mechanism of M1 receptors are IP3 and DAG cascade. The structural features of M1 receptors are it contains seven transmembrane segments and GQ protein linked. Next is M2 receptors. The M2 receptors located in the heart and blood vessels. The effects of M2 receptors are it causes decreasing in heart rate and force of contraction and also causes vasodilation. The specific agonist of M2 receptors are methacholine. The post receptor mechanism of M2 receptors are inhibition of cyclic AMP production and potassium channel activation. The structural features of M2 receptors are 7 membrane segments, 7 transmembrane segments and it contains G8 protein linked. Next is M3 receptors. The M3 receptors located in smooth muscle, glands, endothelium. The effects of M3 receptors are contraction of smooth muscles and it also causes increase in gland secretion. The specific agonists of M3 receptors are betanicol and carbacol. The post-receptor mechanism of M3 
receptors are IP3 and DAG cascade. The structure features that it contains seven transmembrane segments and GQ protein linked. Next is M4 receptors. It is located in CNS and the effects of M4 receptors are CNS inhibition and the specific agonist of M4 receptors are not yet found. The post-receptor mechanism of M4 receptors are inhibition of cyclic KMP production. The structural features of M4 receptors that it contains seven transmembrane segments and GI protein linked. Next is M5 receptors. It is located in CNS and the effects of M5 receptors are CNS stimulation and the specific agonist of M5 receptors are that it, it is not yet found. The post receptor mechanism include IP3 and DAG cascade and the structural features it contains seven transmembrane segments and GQ protein linked. Next is nicotinic receptors. The nicotinic receptors is two type that is NM receptors and NM NN receptors. So first one is NM receptors. It is located in neuromuscular junction of skeletal muscle and the effects of NM receptors contain that it causes contraction of skeletal muscle and the specific agonist of NM receptors are phenyl trimethyl ammonium. The post receptor mechanism of NM receptors are sodium potassium depolarizing ion channel. The structural features it contain pentamer that is 2 alpha, 1 beta unit, 1 gamma unit and delta unit. Next is NN receptors. It is located in the autonomic ganglia and the effects of NN receptors are it causes stimulation of autonomic ganglia and the specific agonist of NN receptors are dimethylphenyl piperazinium. And the post receptor mechanism of NN receptors are sodium potassium depolarizing ion channel. The structural features contain alpha and beta subunits as alpha 2 beta 2, alpha 3 beta 3. Thank you.